the difficulties in the acquisition of land or access to it faced by women because of ignorance of the law and certain traditional practices put in place by the communities either due to greed or selfishness has captured the minds of certain organizations like Transparency International Cameroon and the Canadian government which are standing up to ensure that both men and women have equal access to land. To achieve this, a workshop to train local authorities under the team men and women having equal access to land is organized. Transparency International Cameroon is a local player. They know the local issues. They know the local uh, players. And they are very well placed to, uh, to provide such training. Uh, training for women, for men, and also training the trainers so that this process can continue once the project is over. The workshop that took place at the SWA Council Hall is sponsored by the Canadian government and organized by Transparency International Cameroon. The women who gathered in the hall, coming from four and four localities, were schooled on working hand in gloves with the men, engaged in dialogue as well as involving in decision making in their communities since their roles can never be undermined. On a déniché que les femmes avaient un problème d'accès à la terre. Mais leur problème ne se limite pas justement à l'accès à la terre. On a pensé que pour mieux résoudre ce problème, il fallait encourager leur participation dans les prises de décision. Parce que si les femmes sont présentes, quand on prend les décisions sur les questions des terres, si elles sont mises en avant dans les, 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 sur les questions d'héritage. Parce que les femmes ne bénissent pas au Cameroun dans la coutume. Une femme n'a pas droit à l'héritage, c'est en ce qui concerne la terre. It is worth noting that when women are involved in decision-making process in the communities, it will help produce poverty.